it to full power. I'm using a lot of these. All the way forward. And you have those expert pilots in the front. Yes. I'm going to actually set the timer a little bit less because I don't know what this thing's going to do. So I'm going to two minutes. take this back and I'm gonna attach it somewhere in there later most of my other ones I've, I've got them I've got it attached or at least velcroed down now I've seen now here's here's the funny part I've seen people fly around and I've seen this hatch come off and I know why now you think it's on right yeah well the problem is is that that didn't snap all the way there's a hole See, there's about five different holes in there. Oh, yeah. Because it's not going straight. It doesn't really, because this moves. So what'll happen is you'll get this on there. Oh, it's on. Well, it's not. It's stuck on this piece of tape right now. So you got to wiggle the piece of tape around, or just maybe move that tape over. Yep. It's hard to find. There. I had to make another one. This poor design. They should have put this pull tab maybe. A little bit different offset it, it yeah. didn't have to, i mean in the middle it's, it's fine i guess but i've watched one guy fly and this thing as soon as he took off it he ejected the whole entire canopy <laughs> all right two minutes i'm on the basic flight well the flight mode that i should be able to fly normal <laughs> somewhat safe it's not a trainer mode Can you double check the uh, ailerons? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do all my checks on that real quick. Drag rudders, I've got it 45 millimeters, just like they wanted. They close completely on the other end. So when that closes, puts drag on the right, makes it turn right, vice versa. Right left, up, down. That's all I can do. Good luck, now, man. I, I do have, you can see full right, and I can kind of, I've got some, I put 15% expo in there just to, I don't know, I'll see how it works, see how it flies, but I can hit these switches fast if it's too squirrely, at least I can take it down. We've got 100%, 85 on 75. And the wind just picked up. It's coming from north northwest now. I did put North the North cheater tail on there. First few flights, see how it does. Yeah, that's what they say. Keep it on there for the first couple of flights.
do the landing. I'm actually going to do an approach from the north over here. Gear coming down. Nice to see what it's going to do. Was that the wing? What's that? Was that the wing? No, I, I just did a quick touch and go. <laughs> oh, it was a wheel? Okay. battery. That was two minutes and 46 seconds. I think I can land it a little bit slower. It just felt heavy coming around the corner. Mm. That, uh, Little turn up, coming around final. So two minutes and 45 seconds on this 6,000. I saw somebody skip it like that and then this next flight was perfect. Well now I know what to do a little bit yeah. better. 66%, so pretty good. Two and a half minutes, still got 66%, so four and a half, five. Four and a half for sure. Although I was on the throttle a lot because I wasn't yeah. sure what its capabilities were. It was a lot faster than I thought. Mm -hmm. I was running around. Most of that was 75% throttle. That yeah. wasn't even full throttle. Yeah. Slightly warm, but not bad. I like once I get used to it a little bit more. Take a break for a second, change batteries. Do it again. Looks like it flies really, really well. I mean, I thought it was going to be this big old hog in the air, you know. I'm going to come in a different way. I'm going to I, landing downwind was not the smartest thing in the world to do. Yeah, because now keep, the wind's coming from the north. Yeah, it keeps switching. 